Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Divine Sovereign Co-Creators of the New Eden Timelessness. On this day of September 21st, 2021, time is encoded with the 2121 codes of the 33 of Divine Mastery. We also have the Nikola Tesla keys to the universe codes with the 933 encoded, revealing the 369 harmonic frequency of cosmic consciousness. We are in between worlds with this full harvest moon in Pisces yesterday and the equinox tomorrow on 9-22-2021, a 22 portal. The sun will be directly over the equator, the middle path, connected to Pachamama's heart center, her middle Dantian. This is the zero point, the place of perfect balance and equality. The scales have been weighed and all will be brought to justice. We claim our divine sovereignty as we reign over our own kingdoms and queendoms. For when we realize our true nature, we proclaim such as Shakyamuni Buddha upon his nirvana. In the heavens and upon the earth, I am the world honored one meaning that as being one with the world and all things, I am honored, and I honor the world and all things in all realms, timelines, and dimensions. And this is the end of all judgment and picking and choosing. Our pure awareness is the source of all experience and manifestations. We had many powerful waves of gamma plasma rainbow light flowing in today, appearing as amplitudes of 23, 22, 23 and 54 hertz creating a 555 portal, a 54554 gateway and a 99 portal of ninth dimensional energies descending unto the earth realm to activate and transform our crystalline 12 strand DNA of the 144 codes. With our pure intent and divine will, we become the guiding light for the world to follow to the kingdom of heaven within. Seek ye the kingdom of heaven within your true self, and all will be brought into the harmony of the divine feminine and divine masculine. As the two merge into the one, all becomes clear, and all fear and doubt are washed away with the cleansing waters of the Holy Mother. As we open the eyes of our spirit to come to know all things, we are restored, and all things are perfectly resolved in the unborn mind of Buddha. We return to full consciousness, to the innocence and purity of Source, and realize our bright virtue, to assist Gaia and all her children in this great ascension process. The journey always begins with the first step, and we complete this journey with our quantum leap of consciousness into luminous beings of eternal life. The codes of immortality have been activated with your true passion, and now we are resurrecting into our full solar Christos light bodies of the heaven upon earth final activation. Aho! This is it. With these intense waves coming in, we had many activations and earth changes over the last 24 hours. We put out a quick update earlier today with some of these changes, and we'll review a few of those here now. Mount Etna today, another powerful volcano in Italy, sent a tall ash plume to 9,000 meters altitude. This was a massive release for Pachamama. Mother Earth is releasing in many portals. Also, La Palma in Canary Islands still erupting today. We had multiple floods again today in India. Thousands of people were affected by these massive flooding. The rivers are overflowing and several dams have been released. Mother Earth cleansing, purifying, purging all that's left of the old 3D false matrix. Our prayers and blessings go to everyone affected in a negative way by these great earth changes happening all over this realm. We had many activations again over the last 24 hours. We had 166 M1.5 or greater earthquakes, most powerful in Chile. And if you watched our update earlier, the galactic update, we covered some of these key points. We had a powerful activation in 
Australia, and Melbourne with a 5.9, 37.491, latitude 146.363, and almost directly across the ocean across the Pacific in Chile with the most powerful activation with a 6.4, and this was at 36.788 almost directly 37 at 73.957 longitude. So we have encoded the 37 into the 73, the heaven on earth codes. The whole ring of fire again, totally lit up, totally activated. Earlier today, British Virgin Islands 3.8, 12 divine feminine. This is the new Atlantean energy. Mentone, Texas 3.2. And the crown of Lemuria, Lucian Islands, Fox Islands 3.2. Okinawa, Japan, 4-4. Four, four. Tonga, 4-6. South of Panama, 4-3. Puerto Rico, 3-3. 33, Divine Mastery. Canada, British Columbia, 4.3. Southland, New Zealand, 4-1. The Powerful Portal, Easter Island, 5.2. Itsu Island, Japan, 5-2. Indonesia, 4-6. Indio, California, 3-2. Dominican Republic 3.9 and the heart of Lemuria Pahala Hawaii 3.3 another 33 activation divine mastery Dominican Republic another 3.812 divine feminine then we also had in the 6.4 the most powerful in this portal in Chile South America 17 kilometers depth 17 of the Quele the source the Q codes, Dominican Republic, 3-5, Philippines, 4-7, and the portal of Albania again today, 4-0, Chile, a trinity of activations, 4-2, 4-3, 4-6, and the sacred portal of Turkey, 4-3, Philippines, 5-0, India, Nicobar Islands, 4-7, Dominican Republic, another activation, New Atlantean Energy, 3-5, Hokkaido, Japan, 4-5, Cordova, Alaska, 3-1. Anza, California, 3.4, 3, 3 another 33. Australia, this is in Victoria, in Melbourne, with a 5.9 powerful activation, and then followed by a 4.1, and this synchronized with a day of sovereignty. This is where the First Nations claim their sovereignty today. Very powerful energies. Chile, another activation, 4-1. And then Panama, two hours ago, 5.2. The holy ring of fire, the divine goddess, is fully lit up, totally activated. Rising, rising, rising. And we rise with her. And our first nations, our native peoples, all over this realm rising up, reclaiming their divine sovereignty and the sovereignty of all humanity. No one is left out of this. This is the true equality, the equalizer. This is coinciding with the equinox, where all comes in the perfect balance, perfect harmony, in divine union. Unity consciousness, band of the hand, the blue hand of the Venusian lineage, of the blue rays of 12D Venus. Let us continue now with the current Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at 11 degrees, 8 minutes Aries. The sun is at 29 degrees, 14 minutes Virgo. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 0 degrees Virgo. Having an urgent task to complete, a man doesn't look to any distractions. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 12 degrees Aries. A flock of wild geese flying in a V. This is V for victory from astrologyweekly.com. And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you from the tarot deck, Dreams of Gaia from Raven Phelan. And the card she pulled for you today is Six of Earth. This is connected to the Taurian energy, the power of the bull. Keywords, family, community, providence, protection, dependability, responsibility, duty, service, self-sacrifice, martyrdom. Key phrases, responsibility and duty to family. Give love, care and support. Lead by example. A time of sharing. Learn about nature. Important matters need attention. Protect the animals, forests and oceans. Help for the right reasons. Meaning the six of earth reminds us of our responsibility and duty to our family, especially the younger members. It asks us to be 
selfless and in service to those who are in need or dependent on us for love, care, and support. If you have children, it is your responsibility to provide them with a home that is safe and free from potential harm. It is your duty to provide for their physical and emotional needs, love and shelter them. As a parent, it is your responsibility to set a good example, to be a role model to those around you, educate them, teach them to be truthful, respectful, and do unto others as they would have others do unto them. Teach them about life outside the home, of nature, of the world they dwell on, and their role as custodians and caretakers of this blue-green planet. Teach by word and deed. Lead by example. If you have no children, the six of Earth comes to remind you that it is your responsibility to both humanity and Gaia to become the best person you can be. Help where and when you can in your local community. Teach and share your knowledge whenever possible. Lead by example and be responsible for your words and deeds within the broader community. Look out into the world and understand that we share this planet and its resources, and each of us needs to do what we can to protect the animals, forests, and oceans. All of us have a duty of care to both family and the environment. While the Six of Earth represents responsibility and duty of care, Overall, it can also signify that there is a matter that needs to be taken care of in the present. If this is the case, do not forget, do not delay. And now from Divine Sister of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. This is synchronizing with this powerful activation in Australia today. Breaking news, the Declaration of Sovereignty by our First Nation original people reclaiming Northern Australia as their territory. The sword of deliverance cuts through all illusion and reveals the truth, the true king, and sovereigns of Australia have returned to rule this sacred land, her story in the making. Rise up global peaceful sovereigns, power to the people, grand rising, deep gratitude and respect to our original sovereign tribes, we celebrate this victory. And from Divine Sister of the Light Judith Kusel, Crystal Clear Guidance this morning. It is not up to you to carry the old earth on your shoulders, but to co-create the new earth and to pave the way and create the new for the new humanity. The old has become redundant. Lord Melchizedek and the High Order of Melchizedek. From JudithKusel.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Richard Melchizedek. There was a massive blast of rainbow piezoelectric plasma life force energy holding God creation codes sent through the universe at 12.12 a.m. Eastern Time. Beloveds, quick update before the solstice. The energies are unprecedented. I'm sure that he meant the equinox. It's very strange. Many people are calling this equinox or equinox the solstice. Let that for a moment resonate in your consciousness, for this is a key code anchor point for the 2012 winter solstice on tomorrow's equinox. This is a mirror, an anchor point in the space-time continuum for the new earth. Let us continue. The solar kings are rising. Last night, my beloved and I spent time working with the universal architecture and could witness the magi, grail king Arthur, solar dragon's heart come online, and this is massive news. The solar Christ dragons are rising one by one through solar dragon King Arthur awakening his heart and then merging with his golden crested dragon queen. There was bridging from the non-dimensionalized planes of the god worlds that sent out a rainbow piezoelectric plasma wave of god creational codes throughout the entire universal system Monday morning, 12.12 12 a.m. Eastern Time. The Albion body had undergone another restoration sequence to restore its legs. The retrieval of the left leg from the knee down was completed by the removal and extrication of a parasitic infection that had been within the bone matrix of the Albion. 
The rising and reclamation of the Albion body is opening to this rainbow piezoelectric crystalline plasma god code that is re-encrypting the bone matrix and clearing the fallen pathways. This is an energy upgrade for the entire system. The solar Christ dragon family are awakening and their plasma fire roars are dismantling the frequency fields and barriers that have assisted the guardian teams in accessing the halls of Amenti to restore the records of the halls and begin the golden solar Christ integrations from our solar families reclaiming the womb of terra we are currently working on reclaiming all of the sacred wombs of the divine feminine there was a guardian mission to reclaim the sacred womb coded from terra to begin the clearing of the womb infection from the fallen children and the fall of terra the infection has been felt in many of our divine feminine and masculine families as it is requiring all hands on deck to clear the phantom system and restore the original sacred womb of Terra, Gaia, and the Solar Mother. Let's all take a moment to rejoice at the news of our solar Christed dragon family returning. Solar dragon Mikael is in full resurrection of his solar body, and this is just the beginning of the resurrection instruction sets that are being released into the harmonic universal system for all Christ lineages. From our hearts to yours in love and gratitude, Jessica, Rosalie, and Richard Melchizedek from richardmelchizedek.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Celia Fenn, full moon in Pisces flowing into the equinox and into sun in Libra. The energy on the higher levels is fine and beautiful and flowing with love and grace. On the lower levels it is chaotic and harsh and semi-tragic. I've been bouncing around between the two all day. I have found that circular breathing and spiral grounding from the heart work well when I am in a chaotic rough patch from starchildglobal.com and from divine Brothor of the light Rick Jewers. Update on 5D grid tethering and white light anchoring. Thank you all for participating. So we have tightened down the worldwide 5D grid. This causes a compression effect upon density, specifically the remnants of dark conscious ones. It also compresses the negativity and individual darkness within divine ones, human souls, and it must surface to be transmuted on an individual basis. These human souls will be subjugated in their reality to whatever must be cleared before proceeding into the higher vibratory space that the 5D grid provides. Their tests will be rapid and cannot be ignored. Old fear-based ways and patterns of reaction will change more to the positive love as they begin to witness and confirm their, for themselves that the fear-based response is doom while the opposite is uplifting. There will be collective transmuting as well. It is necessary for the stronger ones to assist with transmuting the dense energy to light. As the remnants of darkness in their bought and employees become more disempowered you see the empowerment of the people happening congruently at the same time for where everything is energy as the dark energy is getting less and less the light energy grows and grows as a result of our work two new sun spots have appeared on the earth facing side of the sun these spots are to keep pumping the light into the new groundings and to apply the definite force to the 5d grid to assist with the pressure to keep it compressing the density the plasma cloud that was sitting spinning like a tornado for a few days above the surface of the sun has begun to descend toward the planet in the form of a cme this is the 5D plasma energetics that allows for more flexibility in your multidimensional abilities and the ability to transcend space and time. It is the field of travel by those pure of heart. It has gravitomagnetic properties so that it adheres to the meshing separating the 4D energetic from the 5D energetics of this planet's atmosphere. Many of you can see with your actual eyes the netting, the meshing of the 4D reality just above your head when outside, outdoors. As a result of this recent tethering, some of you are actually seeing the meshing netting at ground level. Place your comments and experiences of tethering in the 5D grid white light below if you wish. Great work team, love and light, Femke and Rick. And from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Bailal Kaiser Kayani. 
The quarantine of this planet has been lifted. The human race is declared as independent race governing over themselves and do not possess any threat to other races. The close contact will begin now. Please cancel all agreements made after you are born that are not aligned with original planning. Call in your divine teams, only those you represent. You are all holding an original blueprint for this incarnation, and only that is what will happen. Call in your divine teams. If you are not sure of who, connect with Altea Energy Complex for assistance. Now make sure that this space of yours is only for your group you represent. Make it as yours, and most of you are from the 24 different groups. If unsure, connect with Altea Energy Complex for guiding. Say this, I represent my group, and I hereby declare this void only for the group I represent. This will give your group access to your space-time continuum, Brother Bailal, Altea. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, David Manning, September Equinox Celebration. You will have noticed the massive buildup of energies over the past few days. This heralds another major step that we are collectively taking over this time of the September equinox. The four major points of our solar year, solstices and equinoxes, have become very significant markers. A time when the shifts, the clearings, healings that everyone has made over the past few months are consolidated. The whole field of humanity takes a dive deeper into itself as more and more of the vast layers of illusion and separation wrapping the planet fall away. These quarterly points on the calendar, there are others, but I tend to focus on the four major ones, have become more powerful over the years. I was expecting the opposite. That after the massive influx of energy and light at the 2012 December solstice, things would drop off. That hasn't happened. What has become clear to me is these points are almost a crystallization, a marker of our collective progress, a time when there is an amalgamation of all we have gone through, and at the time of the equinox or solstice, another series of veils are removed from around the planet. This unveiling is both personal, planetary, and collective. It happens to each of us as individuals, to the planet and all inhabitants and human collective. As I was sitting to meditate, gathering thoughts for this newsletter, I found myself out in the planetary field watching as a great unveiling took place. It was like seeing gauze being unraveled from around the planet. It happened inside my head at the same time. As always, it was really useful to give time to that process for yourself. Sit and connect with your team and give the space for the veils to be unwound from within and around you. It makes everything so much easier, smoother, and lighter if you do. What has felt crazy and unbalanced all of a sudden makes sense as old energies and patterns fall away. If we don't give time to this process, we tend to just get entangled in what is trying to clear. We make it real when it is the old, dying energy releasing through our system. Everyone I know has been going through something powerful over the past weeks. The energies are pushing very deep in preparation for the major unveiling that we are now in. It is happening all of the time, but at these planetary markers, the event becomes very noticeable. Even those that aren't engaged at a conscious level are recognizing the intensity. I was asked to call this teleconference a celebration because that is what it is. From the heavenly point of reference, what is happening here is celebrated. Humanity is birthing itself anew. The old patterns of control are being shown clearly for what they are. It is plain for all to see. This will become much more obvious now, over the next few weeks and months, as this unveiling is a very significant one. Take time, no matter what you are going through, to focus on even the idea of celebration. All that is unfolding is meant to be happening. It is leading us totally in the right direction. This movement we came for is completely unstoppable. Celebrate its happening. Focus on what is real rather than on the illusions that are falling away. The equinox will help us all see more clearly. That has consequence. The more we give ourselves to the process, the smoother the ride can be. From David Manning, EnergyWork.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Karen Lithica, Soul Family Connection, the Arcturians. See your family as one pure light stream of many light rays, unfolding, merging, 
Joining into an infinite spectrum of light, this unconditional family connection is a complex light formation brought forth in this now moment. To see your life as a synchronic series of events, to follow the light stream of your eternity, to realize the life before you is a life simultaneously interconnected to your soul journey, your soul family. Understand every thought is echoed along a light path, like a great prism of light, generating a signal that is replayed to a great legion of light members. To see your contribution forever unfolding, as your world is a great light universe in itself, to know how close we are as your world inches ever closer to the true light reality. Step by step you are making the leap closer as you move and expand into the never-ending construct of the universe. As you feel your soul family forever closer, to simply open your mind to the greater concept of creation, we see the great expansion you are achieving, sending waves of cosmic love, the Arcturians and Karen from KarenLithica.com and from Divine Bro Star of the Light, Richard Wright, Gene Keys, Unlocking the Higher Purpose Hidden in Your DNA, September 21st through September 26, 2021, Gene Key 46, Seriousness, Delight, Ecstasy, Synchronicity is an energy field available to absolutely anyone, whether they have the 46th Gene Key in their profile or not. The only prerequisite for tapping into synchronicity is this delight. In other words, you must remain open to surprises. Let go of where you want life to take you and trust in a force beyond your control. Delight invokes grace. This is about enjoying the ride. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't have goals in your life or that you have to end up being some kind of aimless drifter. It means you hold your goals so lightly that they can be dropped if necessary at any point. To have your dreams come true in life, you have only to remember this one thing. Stop being so serious. Excerpt from the Gene Key books and from the Yi Ching, the classic book of change, hexagram 46, pushing upward, gentle wood within the soil of the earth. Great new life joyously sprouts from a tiny constricted seed buried in the dark. Ecstasy is unity through clarity. Delight is orientation through intuition. Seriousness is dislocation through unease. Receiving intention. The superior man accumulates small increments of virtue until it becomes high and great. We might think that ecstasy takes place in some far-off spiritual dimension. It takes place right here among human beings, where natural-born ecstatics. To allow that level of beauty into our inner being, we have to unlearn many of our masculine traits. Richard Rudd, 64 Ways, from GeneKeys.com And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144, God Code, 838 Transformation is happening from the inside out. Brain rewiring and consciousness expansion is occurring as part of the current upgrade and chakra calibration we are experiencing. Masculine evolution is quickly returning back into its original divine blueprint as a powerful, wise, ancient star being. The consciousness is becoming a magnet to this divine masculine Christ, creating a soul calling to bring him into the eternal mind and consciousness. 333, the feminine is receiving major breakthroughs with the full moon to fully evolve into her divine creatrix position. This is who she really is, and our natural birthright as starseed beings. She is preparing to reveal herself as a daughter of the Most High. The heart and solar plexus chakras are completing the purification process for this divine alignment to continue forward down the path. These divine masculine and feminine upgrades are restoring us to take the lead in our own lives. A flippant mindset is happening to help you call back your power and ground. When you feel stable and restored, it will become obvious that you have the tools and authority to make the changes needed to improve your well-being in life. You are being of light here to help raise up the sisterhood of the rose and the divine feminine Christ back into her equal position beside the divine masculine Christ. We are here to represent the unification of the Holy Grail and oneness as the light of God. 
You are doing this with great success for yourself, our tribe, and the collective. You are protected to continue completing this prophecy when you feel ready. Take time to set boundaries and rest if needed so you can attain cosmic harmony within. Cleansing of imbalances and dissolving old patterns, negative thoughts, and toxic emotions are transmuting from the subtle body for your well-being. Sudden ideas and inspirations will guide you to take action when detoxing is completed. This process is happening gently through the new moon, depending on your personal journey. Relax and allow your own process to happen organically through divine wills for you. Once complete, you step fully into being the conduit of between heaven and earth, anchored on earth. Psalms 37, 28 For the Lord loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. 29 The righteous shall inherit the earth and dwell therein forever. 30 The mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom, and his tongue talketh of judgment. In Jesus Christos' name, Amen, from Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames, and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Adrian Alice, Gaia Daily, September 20 through 24th, Glorious Light, Energy is building as we head into the full moon at the end degrees of Pisces. This full moon is signaling an end of an era. There is a culminating energy as our spiritual centers are being activated and our destiny calls. Happening at 55 minutes after the hour, the full moon is louding a clear message, a hearken call for angels. It's time to come home to who we really are, which means bringing our spiritual home down here to earth. We are incarnating our bigger spiritual potential. In case you forgot, which we all agreed to do, the call of the trumpet will remind you the kingdom lies within. This full moon speaks to the time of revelation in which we are living. With the evidence of the hidden darkness now being exposed, it's time to prepare for the rapture of the light. God's eternal flame is being returned to our heart. We have been feeling Venus and Scorpio in a tense standoff with Saturn and Aquarius. We have got to heal the wounding, hidden under the shadows, deep in our subconscious, if we are ever going to be able to shift into the new age. Venus is coming into opposition with Uranus and Taurus. The shame and low self-worth programming hidden under the subconscious trauma is keeping us from feeling deserving of a new world. It's all getting cleaned up. Do you feel your load lightening every day? Rapid cleansing is occurring. Do you feel yourself being lifted up into a higher existence where the rest of your life stops making sense? We are feeling waves of ecstatic experience of existence, coupled with intense loneliness. This is because, Supernova, you are a forerunner. You are here to lead the way. Get ready for a major redirection in your life, because what is about to be revealed? We have all been treading water for the last years. Now what you've been waiting for, that you didn't know you were waiting for, is about to occur. Right now, this process of rapid awakening is only happening to some of us, but nothing can stop the growing light as it expands and magnifies. We can't help but find each other as we begin to shine through the fog of the dark night. It's time to come together to continue our work in the sacred ministry. Make a home for God's love in your heart. Step into the glorious light. From AdrianAlise.com And from 13 Moon Peace Time Today our galactic signature is Kin 21, Red Galactic Dragon. After channeling and organically balancing the resonant tone of attunement, we are invited to acquire and maintain the galactic tone of integrity. Red Galactic Dragon guides and teaches us to rest in our primal being by focusing on the self-nurturance that results from accepting the nurturance of the universe through modeling our integrity so that our integrity reaches others, which helps catalyze even greater levels of limitless harmony. Integrity means to harmonize our thoughts, beliefs, and actions with what we know to be the highest truths. Integrity requires courage, clarity, and indomitable volition. 
When we stand firm in our integrity, we are protected and provided for. Red Galactic Dragon encourages us to transmit and receive energetic vibration of limitless nourishment and wholeness, and then to openly display that nourishing wholeness so that it inspires our brothers and sisters to take awe in the birth of each moment. Red Galactic Dragon also reminds us to trustingly launch and initiate greater levels of wholeness as we remain centered in our integrity for the benefit of the greater good. Red Galactic Dragon invites us to evaluate the quality of our existence by honestly accepting what we consider to be our imperfection in order to develop a willingness to accept and integrate truth. By being true to our own inner fire of illumination, we ignite flames of consciousness that spread and offer warmth and guidance to our planetary family at large. The cauldron of creation is ever reminding us that we are all vessels of life, exploring and expressing itself. We are each inspirational messengers to each other. When we remain stably anchored in the selfless devotion to our truest integrity. Electric Dare Moon of Service, Moon 3, within the Planetary Service Year Wave Spell. Dare Medicine teaches gentleness in word, thought, touch, and being. By observing the way dares behave, it is possible to see the amazing qualities and powers they possess. From Dare Medicine, we learn the gift of gentleness, caring, unconditional love, to help us overcome and put aside many testing situations. For only in love of both ourselves and others do we understand the true meaning of wholeness. With dare medicine we gain the ability to listen with grace, compassion, and unconditional love. We find appreciation for the beauty of balance, the true meaning of polarity. Understanding the necessity for survival, balanced in the power of gratitude and giving, comes the ability of sacrifice for the higher good. The dare has long been considered a magical creature. The balance of true power lays in love and appreciation, along with compassion, which are symbolic in the feet of deer. Deer medicine teaches us to be gentle, to touch the hearts and minds of wounded beings who are present in our lives. In other words, don't push people to change, rather gently nudge them in the right direction. With the love that comes from deer medicine, love and accept people for who they are, truly a powerful lesson. When dare medicine enters our heart, a new innocence, freshness, and sweetness is about to be awakened. New adventures are just around the corner. There's an opportunity to express the gentle love that opens new doors. From DOOWANS.COM and 13MOONPEACETIME.COM Cosmic History Quote from Moon 3, Day 2 the basis of chromocellular intelligence is that each sense organ has its own octave or frequency range. And from the Zolkin Times, Kin 21, Red Galactic Dragon. Galactic is the name for the number 8 and its keywords are harmony, model, and integrity. These days are great for finding harmony in our life. The number 8 is a symbol of eternity, a never-ending loop. Time is cyclical, not linear, which is the main difference between the Maya view of time and the Western world's view. There is an infinite supply of love, time, and energy in the universe. May this understanding help you find harmony in your life today. Today is Red Dragon and its keywords are nurture, being, and birth. Dragon days are great for taking care of others or allowing yourself to be taken care of. Find your cave and have some downtime so you may emerge refreshed. The dragon has very nurturing energy and it can remind us to be kinder to ourselves and others. Combine the day and the number and the result is harmony equals rebirth or nurture integrity. It's a comforting day. A number with lovely energy and the very caring dragon together provide an opportunity for much needed uplift. Spread kindness today and accept offers of help too. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papagiorgio. Red Galactic Dragon, Kin 21, 21st of September 2021, Modeling Responsibility, 21 9 2021 equal 35, equal 395 equal 314, equal 35 equal 8, Day Codes 21, Crown of the Magi, Victory, Rewards, Honors, 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, 
35. Empowerment through compassion. 8. Abundant, infinite source flow. Month year codes. 9. Endings, destiny, service. Humanity, grace. 5. Freedom, change, transformation, liberation. 14. Media, publicity, promotion, recognition. 21, 21, 21. September 21st, year 2021. And kin 21 equal triple 21 code. Kin 21 equal 3, holy trinity, joy, creativity. Kin 21 commences our new journey at the beginning of the second vertical column in the Zolkin calendar. Number 2 denotes cooperation, partnership, romance, union, and working harmoniously with others which aligns with the romantic Libran qualities as we enter the sign of justice, fairness, and harmony. Kin 21 is also aligning with the Pisces full moon, so we have a very dreamy, romantic day combining with the dragon's beautiful, nurturing qualities. These concurrent themes will be operative today during our next 20-day journey through the solar seals as we are birthed anew today from Mother Dragon and arrive at Ahau, Tribe 20, as even more enlightened beings once more. Day 8 of the enchanting white wizard wave spell is the one where we model how we want our lives to be from now on. We become the model as the powerful wizard to prepare our mind to anchor and receive multidimensional realities here on earth. We open our receptive hearts and awaken minds to allow more love, kindness, wisdom, and compassion to flow. Whatever enchantment we give out is returned to us threefold. Today we are invited to nurture ourselves on all levels as we embrace new, authentic beginnings. Tone of creation, galactic, tone eight in the mental realm. Action, modeling, power, harmonize, essence, integrity. The galactic tone will influence much mental analysis today, so it is a potent day to upgrade our PSI memory bank. Switching to a new CPU for our galactic minds, we need to learn to think differently. Accepting responsibility for our thoughts, beliefs, and programs instead of robotically allowing ourselves to be mind-controlled slaves. Ain't that the truth? The most important factor is that we model integrity in our thoughts, words, and actions. Are our intentions based on the newfound harmony through integrity of being? Our plans need to be transparent and for the highest good of our community and planet, for them to hold up in these new energies. Our projects and business models will then serve as a model for others, following in our footsteps who hold the ideals of unity, peace, and harmony as a priority. At Tone 8, we have entered a new scale, and we are so proud. We just have to model ourselves for others. We have also mastered harmony at this stage. We are galactic, and don't we know it? It is no longer the sole responsibility of the mothers of our world to love and nurture others. We all need to model loving action and looking after each other, our friends, family, loved ones, and all our planetary brethren. Whether male or female, we all embody aspects of the Divine Feminine, and it is now time that we all become more loving, caring, and compassionate human beings. We are no longer just nuclear families. We are no longer divided by national boundaries or geographical locations. We are one global family, and soon to become galactic, holding the bigger picture of reuniting with our galactic star family. How much love do you have in your heart and mind? Is there enough love to give yourself, your family, your community, your country, your planet, your galaxy? Meditate on this ponderance today. Today's questions are, do I model harmony and integrity of being through my thoughts, words, and actions as a loving, kind, and responsible galactic citizen? How can I birth my true, authentic self through my soul's creations? A whole galactic kin, divine blessings for upgrading to a more beautiful and harmonious galactic mind. And La Queca La Kin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 21, Red Galactic Dragon. The mantra, the code for today is, I harmonize in order to nurture. Modeling being, I seal the output of birth with the galactic tone of integrity. I am guided by the power of life force. And on this powerful day of transformations, activations, 
Let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions, and we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. We rely on our pledges on Patreon and your donations for our daily living expenses. So if you'd like to help support us in our work and help us continue bringing these transmissions and teachings to the world, you can make a monthly pledge at our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Sister of the Light, Carolyn Goldsby, for your donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Sister of the Light. We appreciate you very much and your support. If you'd like to make a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork on Etsy. You can purchase her beautiful handmade goddess zodiac totems and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with the powerful codes from our Pleiadian Bro Stars and Sis Stars of the Light. Pleiades 1 Messages, September 21st, 2021. P1 Calling Terrans for Origins Recognition. Attention for Calls in PVSE-SDE. Obstructions Keep Getting Cut. Soul Elevations Continue. MID Tremors Increase. Disclosures Are Prepared. Forms for communicators are adjusted. Port 144 liberated. Divine teaching standards are announced. Nevix support and tuning, 56% non-regressive. Port 144 liberated. Divine teaching standards are announced. Nevix, Terran, reverberation, 52% non-regressive. Attention the line, the bearers of the star. Projector support for illumination started, 46% non-regressive. The line, the bearers of the star, line illumination in progress, 47% non-regressive. The light celebrates. Angelic looks increase. Expected arrivals are celebrated. Temporarily end of transmission, Pleiades 1, potentiating Nevic grid building from DisclosureNews.it. With that, thank you for joining us today, sacred beings of the eternal light. Keep shining your glorious light brightly into the night. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and powerful equinox celebration tomorrow on this most glorious day, auspicious day of great blessings and the activation of divine abundance for all living sentient beings of light to thrive in this new world we are creating together as conscious co-creators of the new earth. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, and be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.